Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your February 2021 general reading. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you want to get in contact with me to book your own personal reading. All right, so Cancer, let's jump into this. All right, so I didn't get any off-camera messages, so... Cancer, King of Swords, could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, okay? Um, so, so, you could be trying to make a head over heart decision. Your heart and your mind might not be on the same page, or it could be on the same page, right? With the King of Swords coming up, you've got some clarity in terms of your emotions, and and some you've got some spiritual guidance here or this is somebody around you um also there could be someone who's a little bit detached and uh making decisions from from only the perspective of you know intellect and thoughts let's see wow the emperor all right so you get some boss energy whomever this is they have or this could be you, Cancer, that you got everything together. Could be dealing with an Aries, an older gentleman. Could be dealing with someone who feels like, look, they want to be the, the bachelor, the eternal bachelor. Like, they're, they're not getting married or a couple anytime soon. Um, and they're okay with that. They, they live in that energy. Or this could be you, Cancer. Um... It's funny that, you know, the Emperor is coming up because it's a four card. And the fours talk about, you know, home and roots and family and mother and children and women and femininity. So um, I think this person has, they understand, you know, feminine energy and women and children and the care of and the responsibility of that, that, uh, comes with that you also could have a husband and this could be your husband or your counterpart cancer um let's see what's going on here six of swords so some of you the ten of cups all right so some of you could be making a choice an active choice being very analytical in nature about this um choice of uh, maybe the fact that you want a family you want that a happy family, the happy life. Some of you dealing with same-sex relationships. And you want a little bit more traditionalism, uh, some roots. Some of you want to be rooted in something or grounded with someone. Um, some of you want to someone to move in with you or you want to move in with someone else or they're asking you to move in. Um, some of you, you like men and women. There could be an element of bisexuality. Uh, I think the other person is, they know, like this is not that they don't know. Um, some of you, your intuition is on point here, you're like you're, it's very sharp. Some of you can be dealing with uh, an Aquarius, uh, Piscean person, Aries. Um, definitely wanting happiness, or I don't even hear the, the facade of happiness, or so you're moving towards what's next and, and what would be next for you is to maybe have a family wow four of wands definitely wanting a family or wanting to be with someone or wanting to be in a relationship but this is what someone wants with you wanting to be married wanting to have a successful and uh yeah a successful completion to the project of this relationship or which is this relationship or redecorating your home or having success in being a decorator or remod, you know, you remodel home. I don't know where that came from. Um, some of you, you travel for work and maybe that's what you do. Um, some of you, you want to purchase your own home for your own self and your own family. Um, once again, that feminine energy and roots uh, are coming up. Somebody wants to be in something more rooted and grounded. 
Um, you may feel as if you found that person. This person could have Aries in their chart or be an Aries. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, it's like you're up for the challenge of starting something new. Health, wealth, and happiness. Maybe ending an old cycle that maybe disappointed you or there was disappointment, uh, hurt, pain, violence. I don't know. Something happened here, but it's making you take a step back here and evaluate. It's making you take a step back, evaluate what all your hard work, endurance, why. Also could be dealing with the Libra here. Some of you, you contemplating letting the single life, the non-committal energy go, or this is somebody else around you contemplating this. They they see the duality of the of of the two or, or they have already been practicing the duality trying to be committed to you trying to still be out there this is you cancer trying to be committed trying to still be out and about dating um it's causing someone mental confusion so they haven't made a choice yet three of wands but it looks like whatever they're waiting for something to come in or come about for some successful completion to whatever this is um and they're waiting for their hard work to to um pay off they want somebody so some of you you in person could be uh separated you know by distance or it's just separation um, mentally and emotionally. He'll be dealing with a Leo. Um, he'll be dealing with an Aries. Again, you have Aries coming up. Something about someone doesn't know if they want to leave the relationship. Wow. Or they, they want to take something to the next level. So, Cancer, this might be you or the other person. You understand that you have to really be done with an old way of living, existing, of doing. It's the only way you're going to have a foundational, solid shot at maybe starting something new, having a change of journey. Um... And you want this, and you see it's being offered to you, maybe by way of a person, place or thing. Looks like a person, could be a person. Um, but some of you are still focused on that old way, or, or being that old way, or this person is still, right? You're still focused on um, yourself. Um, you also. Some of you could be trying to focus on getting more money, having a successful self-employment, being more, uh, starting your business, uh, being more um, independent financially. There's a lot that you might be keeping from your person or, the keep, or they're keeping from you. There's some emotions you don't want to face. You, you kind of push them down. Maybe even lie to yourself, being deceptive, maybe to you and to other people, about the fact that you really, really want to be in a relationship, a committed one, but you're still guarded. You still have that hard exterior, hard exterior on. Yup, that cancer crab. You still are in your shell. But you still, but you want love. But you, but you're in the shell. But you want love. But you want to do for self, and you want to move the relationship forward. You might even want to move in with this person. But um, something you guys keep going in the same cycle here, either mentally, physically, or emotionally. Someone's playing the victim. Someone has a lot of mental anxiety that they need to get over that they're holding on to, maybe from past. 
energies. Um, cancer or the other person isn't sure if they need to walk away. Even if it's temporarily so that they can... Um, maybe this person or you can find clarity, answers for past experience. Um, go to counseling. Go to an expert that can help them be better. Uh, not exactly sure. Cancer, you got a lot going on. It's like one minute you want to be single or, or this is the other person. Let's see what's coming up for you in your fortune for the, the month of February. It looks like you... I mean, the relationship isn't bad. It's got some bad parts, but it's not bad. I don't know. Get a personal reading. It's all over the place in terms of where you want to go with this. Um, it just seems as if someone is really trying to change how they look at relationship. High honor and expectation. So maybe um, some of you, you're dealing with somebody who may expect a lot from you. Or you hold them in high regard or they hold you in high regard there's an element of not wanting to disappoint so it's like I'll take no action versus taking action and disappointing um, the other person you could be dealing with an older man um, once again something about you needing to the, the community of people that you hang around okay they may need a lot or they're not on your level, or they don't want you what you want, they may be holding you back, or you're giving too much to social groups, social activities, or you're placing too much value on that when you there might be displaced value. Not that friends, family, associates, people of the of that nature, they don't matter, not to say that, but you might be displacing the value. Because there might be someone else here who uh, they may be getting the short end of the stick of your time, energy, effort, your love. Um, you might something about equality with the six of pentacles here, trying to play both sides. Not exactly sure. Um, or this is this is what the person you're dealing with. They're trying to do. They're trying to be all that you need them to be, but at the same time. You know, um, they're, they're putting friends, family, social activities, social gatherings, social status before having a real relationship possibly with you. Now, I don't, so I don't know, but that's what the cards look like. Okay. Right. Someone is, is ignoring the heavenly signs that maybe this is time for you to do something new, something you've never done before. Um... You may see something, hear something. There might be a coin, something that that prompts your your memory bank, gives you a sign. Parental care. You may have elderly parents, or you may be a parent and you need to put more time in with your children. Welcome the new. Yeah, there's newness here for the taking for some of you. Forgiveness. You either need to forgive your counterpart. Or they need to forgive you. Keep the faith, guys. You can have what it is you really desire from this person or persons. Uh, welcome the new, uh, might be a new way of just being. Some of you really have the desire to have something different, rooted, grounded. Maybe children, marriage, something more traditional. But you're also still out there. It says that prosperity lies ahead. Um, I think Aquarius got that card. Um, new moon in Taurus. So, right. Cancer. It's a time to give rather than to take. Right. So, something about equality and it being off. Displaced value. It's a time to give rather than to take. New moon in Virgo. We got two new moons. Nothing will come of this situation. Something is void, of course, okay? You and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. 
Everybody's getting this. Confidence is your key to success, okay? So you have to have confidence uh, that this can move forward. If you go into something with lack of confidence, then you can pretty much fill in that blank. Um, do know that you and your loved ones are safe. Nothing will come of this situation um, if you are if you don't have any confidence in it. Okay, prosperity lies ahead for you. Uh, don't let pride get in the way, guys. Okay, Cancer, if you feel like this reading resonated with you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Uh, take advantage of the text question. You can text a question or questions to the number below. Pay for your question and receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Take advantage of that. Thank you, Cancer. Have a really good February. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.